are you guys? I am in Costco doing some weekend grocery shopping, but I found this right here. It's going to be $40. You get two fry pans, Gotham steel, titanium, and ceramic. It's made of the same stuff that Batman's armor is. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> These are like actually really heavy, but they're going to be $40 here. Batter rings are made out of that too. I just need a couple things for the weekend. We're trying a new thing where we're not going to eat out on the weekend. I don't know how well that's not that's going to do. <laughs> but look at $60 here. 60 Oh, yes. So we're going to try it this weekend. Only need a couple things. My kids are snackers on the weekend. You know, it's the weekend. Five sixty. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> the sound bar. That sounded actually really cool. Can you hear it? I kind of want a sound bar. Now. Yeah, I want that sound bar. <laughs> it's that one over there. Oh, wow. The Keurig is out. They want $100 for the K Elite. Okay, this is the one we put like the water in and stuff like that. I don't have this one, I have like a tiny version one. But they got all this stuff out right now. Medium Rose. Oh, I might just get a new one. I don't need it now, though. $9.49. Sanders Dark Chocolate. Oh, I don't need no junk food. Toffee. Oh, my gosh. These are really good. <laughs> For $9. Really, really good. Did you guys know Costco has jewelry? $1,000. 14 karat yellow gold. A men's bracelet. 224. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at these earrings. 14 karat white gold and diamond cut hoops. Okay. Check these hoops out. Those are really interesting. Oh, that's different. That's top shelf set right here. Oh, 6,000. Wow. 14 karat white gold with 4.95 karat round diamond hoop earrings. Get your Christmas yeah. gift here. They got your rings here. Five thousand dollars. Look at that. So I am gonna pick up the pasta prima spinach and mozzarella. It's gonna be ten sixty nine. It's the weekend and I love my pasta. I say pasta and pizza. I did find this pack of organic bean and rice and cheese burritos. It's gonna be ten dollars and you get eight. If you guys try the Annie version, the Annie version they do offer in gluten, like gluten free. It tastes really, really good. I wish I could find um, Annie products here in bulk. For pizza that we want, all we see is the cheese right now. You're going to get four for $10. And they do have the cauliflower crust pizza. I think it's going to be 13 and it's a two pack. I did find pepperoni, a four pack, but it's thin pizza. I don't want thin pizza. <laughs> I want some thick pizza. I decided to go with the chicken and fire roasted vegetable pizza. It's going to be $14 and it is a three pack. I'm hearing good things about this yogurt. I have not tried it yet. I kind of just want to try one, a single one. But if you have tried it, let me know. I think I'll pick up one like at Walmart or something nine dollars y'all for a two pound oh that's turkey <laughs> for the two pound turkey you guys are gonna get nine dollars eight dollars eight dollars for this bad boy right here eight dollars how many how five much? pounds it's a five pound Ooh, my oh my god all i need is a spoon <laughs> no we don't need it right now the holidays are coming they're I, coming i don't cook turkey i eat it <laughs> I do buy this, the turkey without antibiotics. It's gonna be $7.49 and it is the Columbus brand. This one's actually really good. I like that a lot. My kids are more into, um, you know, um, not turkey, but they're ham, ham people. So they do have um, a honey ham. I probably will buy that for lunch. They do have the chicken breast, $7, no nitrates added. Yeah, I like this brand a lot actually, I really do. This orange chicken, you guys, is actually really good. It is really good. It's gonna be $10, and then you get like two family size meals. I have one left over in the kitchen, 
you know, in the freezer. So I think that's gonna be lunch for us on the weekend. If you have a air fryer, that would taste like really, really good. So I would recommend that. And there is one at Trader Joe's. That's really good too. So my husband and children do love the Marie Callender's chicken pot pies. It is gonna be $10.35 and you do get eight of them. They're actually really good. I had one the other day. I missed the restaurant. They took Oh yes, down they did used restaurant. to have a restaurant. Yeah, really but these nice. are really good you guys but I'm sure making them from scratch would taste much better right you know who makes them from scratch that girl have you all been watching that one show um, it's on Netflix uh, I can't think of her name Christine something McKillen yeah Christine McKillen or McCollin I'm probably not even saying her name right but her first name's Christine but she does these like cooking type of videos on Netflix. It's like a show. Yeah, it's like a whole But show. she doesn't really tell you like step by step, you know? Yeah, she and she does like over extravagant stuff. Oh yeah, and her baking. her baking skills are really, really good. But yeah. I'm all like, dude, that's too pro for me to even try to make. She made like this cake into a haunted house. I was like, I can't make that. But she shows all these like really fun things, but it's a lot of work to and do she that. She doesn't show all the steps. No, she doesn't sell all, all the steps either. But I like her show. So, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Definitely check it out. Look at these Ziploc bags. $10.69. You're going to get a hundred and, well, you get quite a bit. For the background. Look pretty. at the gallon. 50 storage quart. 120 snack bags. And 125 sandwich. And they got a Christmas theme going on for the Nutcracker. Oh, that's neat. Um, I don't think I need anything in this section, but they do have one for like, you know, if your children are in school. <laughs> they got the Avenger ones here going on. Look at the back. Got Tony Stark. <laughs> for Kirkland, a signature disinfecting wipes is going to be $10. So you're going to get four packs, two of the fresh air scent and then the lemon scent for 10 and then if I move over here the Clorox wipes are going to be $13.45 I have used the Kirkland brand there's no problem with that you know save some money the only difference is $3.46 but you know if you do trust the Clorox it kills 99% of virus and bacteria always clean the doorknobs children are coming home sick and you know they always touch everything even the stairs at the school oh my gosh I hate it. I'm always like wiping my hands after, even in my grocery cart. I actually put the wipes on the cart and I push it. I have no idea why I've been doing that, but I'm like, I do not want to get sick. <laughs> how, how much is the Swiffer? Oh, that's for the dry. That There's dry is going to be 1245. 43 cloths in it. Um, 86. 86, yeah. Fills. The wet one is a 64 count, which is 1255. Okay, I can't think of if that is the same price at Walmart or not because I think like a small pack at Walmart was like I think eight dollars or something or nine somewhere yeah. around there. Huggies pull-ups are twenty-eight dollars, you guys. If you do have a child, I do not have any more little children, but I always went with the Love brand, you know, because I was broke. <laughs> but the Love brand is actually really good, and they used to have Blue's Clues on it. I did Huggies, but you know what? I didn't care for Huggies. And then, of course, when, yeah, but the Love brand actually really is a good brand. So now I'm looking for some dessert. And, you know, Costco got lots of desserts going on. $9 right now for sea salt creme brulee. Am I saying that right? We could be very fancy. <laughs> very, very fancy. Is that in a glass? I think you do get something in a glass. It looks like a glass. And yeah, look down here. Is. Wow, for nine dollars, sea salt caramel for fancy <laughs> living, right? Squidward, <laughs> and look over here French macarons. Macarons, how much are these? Uh, macarons, they look like they're sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars made in France. I've only had the ones at Disneyland. <laughs> I share with my daughter. What do we have in here? Oh, a gyro kit. That'd be good for lunch. Lunch, lunch, and olives if you like olives. Oh, that's Greek yogurt. That's for the gyro. The olives are going to be $6. Okay. 
And you get the whole pack? Oh, you do? You get three. For six dollars, you get the green, pitted Italian, and then like the mix here. Well, somebody sounds upset. So let's keep moving. But have you guys tried the salmon from here? My son loves salmon so much, but they want $22. But look how much butter is on that. I normally buy him the frozen packs of salmon I could find here in Costco. Um, because I get a little more out of it. But these are really good. Um, $9.99, we're looking at $10. This is good also for lunch, for your children's lunch. And also if you're having like a little party or something. I have never tried the mac and cheese here. They want $11.35. They do have a enchilada bake with chicken for pretty much $19. I can make that at home. Now this one. Uh, my son wanted this last time I was here. It's $18.52. It is chicken pot pie. If you guys have tried it here from Costco, let me know. Let me know. Like quick, throw in the, throw in the oven. I don't have to make anything. Italian sausage and pasta. I'm really not a um, sausage person. Meatballs. Is this meatballs? Oh, with ground beef. Yeah, I can make that at home. See? But you know, not everyone wants to make everything, but it's the weekend. I just need a little bit. Well, they do have meatloaf with mashed potatoes if you're looking for something like that. Pumpkin rolls, $13. You get three. Share with the neighbor, you guys. Share with your neighbor. <laughs> Last time I was here, I bought a cinnamon loaf. And they do give you three. It was like three. And it was $8. And I'm like, we're not going to eat that. Because I'm like a poker. I poke at food. Like, stuff like that. <laughs> Somebody in the house ate like almost all of them. I was like really shocked. Ribs here. Now I normally don't buy meat here. It's gonna be twenty-two dollars if you do love um, meat and like pork. Okay, you guys. I found this really cool bottle of brandy. It is gonna be a hundred dollars. Look, it's a dragon. That's cool. That is uh, pretty cool there. <laughs> That is actually neat. That would make a, a neat gift, right, to somebody. Okay. It would have to be somebody I know, like really, really know. You don't just give somebody random. I like that. <laughs> Not for a coworker. <laughs> the Elmore Del Toro bottle's cool too. It's just really cool looking. Yeah. Made in France. Okay, this is what I was talking about. I bought this bread because I had a sample oh, here. It's good, but who ate it all? Somebody in the house. I think it's when people come over, you know. Cause we have stuff out like, like when your mom and dad and stuff like that so it went like really fast i was gonna give one to the neighbor it vanished before and it vanished the day was over. yeah <laughs> but look we have fruit cake you guys want to know something i never had fruit cake in my life it always scared me and turned me off but they want 15 dollars <laughs> does this cake not remind you of Matilda, where he ate that chocolate cake. They won $17. My daughter convinced my mother-in-law and her grandpa, they came here shopping, and she brought one home, like, months ago. I was like, dude, we're not going to finish that. And it, nobody finished it. It ended up getting kind of tossed. It was a waste. <laughs> a waste. Do you, do you remember that Tiny Toons show? Whenever the pig was being chased by the chocolate cake when he was on a diet? Uh, no. <laughs> That's what it looked like, the big apple pie i love 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 apple pie i love homemade apple pie though but this will do you know this thanksgiving time coming around taking to somebody's house right apple strudel and then we got danish okay my weakness is going to be the cheese danish oh my gosh get me out of here that is my weakness i know right i kind of want to buy it but no i don't i've been running getting back on track I'm doing my Shelly Dose workout. <laughs> no, and I'm the only one who likes that. So, you know, I don't need that. Okay, get away. <laughs> okay, I do want to get some oranges, though. Um, like mandarin oranges. Do we see oranges in here? Oranges. Let's see. I got apples and pears. Apple pears. Oh, really? That's going to be $7. For an eight-pound bag of oranges, it's going to be $8.29. So I am going to grab a bag. I love to snack on oranges. I could eat this like all weekend long. That could be like my lunch, dinner, and breakfast. I love oranges. And then I do need to pick up some peppers. Normally, I will buy like a big pack. And then obviously I'm not going to use it all during the week. And I just cut them up and slice it and put it in the freezer. 
And so next time I need these, I just take them out of the freezer. It saves me a lot of time. Instead of buying them, you know, pre-packaged already frozen, because that's going to cost a little more money. These are really huge pomegranates, okay? Look how huge those are. But you're going to get a six count for $17. We just bought some at the grocery store. They're Palm Wonderful brand. Yeah. But you have these, the ones in the regular grocery store are a lot smaller. But yeah, pomegranates are really good as something we love to snack on. And we also put those in our smoothies. I did find the Grey Goose Martini set. It's going to be $46. So you get a kit. There are those. Everything you need is right there. If you have a Coca-Cola lover or somebody who likes to decorate in Coca-Cola, um, look right here. It's going to be $40 to get like the tin bottom, a place for your straws. It's going to say Coca-Cola. You get some popcorn. You get some soda in there. That is actually pretty neat. That is a good office gift. $40. All right, another Christmas gift, Xbox One X. It's going to be $489, so we'll just say $490 here. But it looks like you're going to get... um. It looks like fours in a yeah, three yeah. month uh, Game Pass. Okay, and then the Xbox One S, how much was that one? This one here is $300. $300. You know what the difference is, though? Your games will be in 4K with this. And well, say 4K there, too. That's just for the Blu-ray oh. and the video streaming. But your actual games will look a lot better with this one. And uh, they actually have additional download so that you could boost the graphics of your games. Oh, it makes okay. it really cool. Yeah, my husband's, you know, my Xbox, my Xbox, the love of my life, you know, Xbox. <laughs> but they do have the Wii here. Bad. It is three fifty nine, <laughs> you guys. Um, I don't see any really new toys going on here at Costco. Nothing yet. I did see a new Baby Life. I think it's over here. I think it was this way. Um, I thought I saw a new Baby Alive. No. Oh, here it is. Twenty dollars for Darcy dance class, and they do got the blonde, and they do have the brunette. So, oh, you got pee coming out. <laughs> I'm gonna feed them. But you guys, um, I know Baby Alive diapers could be kind of pricey to buy them over and over for your child. So what we do, we buy like one big pack, like I gift it to her for Christmas. And then during the rest of the year, unless she's spending her own money, we go to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Dollar Tree has diapers, she guys. Babies. For her bigger ones, she buys Yeah, diapers. so we get those at the Dollar Tree because, you know, sometimes they just want to make the mess in the diaper. Feed it, drink it, you know. <laughs> so yeah, it does get pricey. Look, they still got Bitty Baby here. But okay, you guys, I'm going to end my shopping trip here. I have to check out um, the line. is Actually, Costco line is not that bad. It looks long, but it does move fast. So I'm going to go ahead and check out. And thank you for following me around the shopping, grocery shopping. And I will see you guys in the next video.